Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Broadcast Jews! Now, wait a minute. Too late! They already know who we are! I have a contract. Yeah, and I have 30 years experience telling you you might as well give up. If you want to say five words when she wants... On today's show, we're going to be reviewing another hilarious TV program. To talk, she's going to interrupt you. I'm sure that everyone has seen that show with that Stephen Colbert, where he pretends to be reading the news. Well, Irving and I have found a show that's even funnier. It's so funny, you'll plots. Plots? That means to blow up. That's what you're supposed to do when you eat a brisket, although I had to, she cooks it Irving, too long. You I'm burn the hell out of it. I am talking about the funniest show on TV, and you're talking about brisket? You loved that show last night. I wanted to watch Masterpiece Theater. You loved that show last night. I loved that show last night. And you loved my brisket. Well, let's not go crazy here. Getting back to the program, I just wanted to tell you that we laughed ourselves silly about that Yutz has to say. He says even sillier things than that Stephen Colbert, if you can believe that. Will you stop saying that? It's Colbert. Stephen Colbert. Why? The T is silent. The T is silent? Then what did they put it in there for? I mean, if that was the case, then I would be gay. And what's the sense in that? Gertstein talking sense. Well, it's not the Red Sea parting, but hey, a miracle's a miracle. Listeners, tune into this show and you will never stop laughing at what this moron has to say. It's called The O'Reilly Factor. Yeah, I know. It's not the snappiest title for a show, I think. I think they should have called it, hey, let's all get a look at the yuts who knows bupkis about the world. They didn't ask for your opinion, Irving. Whoever does. Oh, and we have a caller. Welcome to Broadcast Shoes. What do you want? Hey, Gert, I think there's something you need to know. Oh, Gert, do you hear this? Gert, no Irving, just Gert. Mr. Mister Engineer, is this thing even on? Hello, testing. Dude, shush. Yes, Carla, we're listening. That show you've been talking about is an actual political chat show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she can't see us, so hey, she probably does think you were born yesterday. I mean it. He has real guests to express their opinion. <laughs> real guests? <laughs> now I know you're crazy. The one he had on yesterday, she was a skinny shiksa who thought that women shouldn't be able to vote and that all liberals are evil. No. Oh, and was she great? She had me in stitches. Uh, stitches. She was great. No, you don't get it. No, you don't get it, Cola. Next you'll be telling me that that Rush Limbaugh Schmendrick on the radio is for real, too. Oh, get, get off, off the line. line. Well, that's it for this show. We're going to review next week another really short show that they put on whenever they feel like it. It's this fat guy, and he looks into a camera, and he says, I lost another loan to Dytech.com. That's a commercial. Are you still there? We told you to get lost. Oh, well, until next time, kisses to our little Ganeshes. Uh, before we go, I'd just like to point out we'll be getting some Rita Malin, and they're all suggesting new exit lines. What are you listening to them for? They're all on drugs. Well, they're clever drugs. You gotta see these things. Look at this one here. Good night and have a good oh, life. Oh, I'm not listening. The I'm not listening. Why should today I'm be any different? Listening.